Hey, how's it going? I know it's been a while since uh, I posted a video and uh, I was inspired to do a new video on um, why I choose to walk my Vishla Homer on a retractable leash. And the main key reason why I like to do that is he's a hunting dog and he has a lot of energy. And uh, this is a 50 pound Vishla dog and uh, he needs to get as many steps, paws, you know, run around um, as much as he can. However, with boundaries and some rules, not only for him, but rules for myself as well. Now I could walk Homer um, in a healed position for as long as I want. You know, I paid a lot of money for a trainer to help me with that. And so I could get him in a heel to walk, but, um, and then sometimes I do do that, but uh, overall, I don't think that's fair for him. And I want him to have some freedom. And uh, again, you know, we have to set rules, we have to set boundaries, and not only for him, but also for myself. And I would not recommend this to anybody um, to walk any kind of high energy dog on a retractable leaf. If you have arm issues, if you don't have a lot of strength, if your um, attention span um, is um, not that great, I have a few rules. And um, you know, the number one rule is, is when we go out on a walk, you know, with the retractable leash, a 16 foot retractable leash, I have to have the expectation and the mindset that he's going to be pulling, tugging. I'm letting him do, letting him have some freedom. And so I can't get frustrated. I can't get uh, angry. You know, I'm letting him do this. However, when it starts getting intense, I have the heel position to, uh, or the heel command to be able to rein him in a little bit, take the intensity down. All right. The second thing is... I only have my phone with me in case of emergencies, right? If I need to dial 911 or call my wife or whatever. Other than that, that phone never leaves my pocket, all right? When Homer and I are walking, it is not even a walk. It is a choreographed dance when we are out walking. I have him on the retractable leash. My focus has to be on him all the time, all right? My back is never towards him. Okay, and so, you know, there are a lot of elements, a lot of things that I need to be aware of. There's a lot of squirrels, there's cats, there's rabbits, coyotes, deers, skunks. There's all kinds of things that he's going to be looking at, tracking. And if I'm for a second not looking, he'll rip my arm off or we'll both get hurt. My phone is never out. I'm not looking at it. You know, in fact, it's a nice departure break from looking at my computer and phones you know it's my time to be with him and uh, get away from all the work stuff and all this you know technology so the next important thing and you know it's about rules and boundaries is uh, when we're on the retractable leash and we're walking he's not allowed to go on the street until i do now i've put a lot of time effort and training and reinforcement that um when we're out walking anytime he sits foot on the, on the street uh, without me, I correct him. And uh, he's learned right away, he's learned quick. Anytime we approach an intersection, anytime we approach a crosswalk or whatever it is, um, you know, he knows that he needs to wait until I lead the way. And luckily he's always been, always on the sidewalk. You know, he never ventures out into the street. And what's important too, is when other people are walking their dogs and he sees another dog, you know, I let him have that freedom, but I'm watching him very carefully and he never bolts across the street. He doesn't go to try to, you know, uh, socialize with the other dog. He's really good at sticking on the sidewalk with me and he's not allowed to go on the street. So that's, that's very key. Um, again, I wouldn't recommend this to anybody. You know, you really have to be physical. I go work out. I, um, you know, I'm a very physically active person and I have confidence in um, holding and restraining uh, a 50 pound dog that can bolt on a dime really fast. 
Um, and um, if you're someone who has weak arms, doesn't have that much strength, it could do some damage. I like the time that I'm able to put in it and you know, be really mindful and attentive towards him. I love not having the phone with me. I love um, looking at the surroundings. I mean, I'm always scoping. When we're out walking around, I'm scoping. I'm looking for squirrels, cats, rabbits, anything. And he lets me know. He lets me know when he's targeting something because he has that hunting point and dog track. You know, he when he sees a squirrel, he doesn't just go after it. Or if he sees a rabbit, whatever animal it is, he doesn't just bolt right after it. He's got that hunting dog, stop, tracks. He lets me know what he's looking at, you know, and I'm able to be prepared for it. And I'll let him have, uh, you know, I'll let him have those instincts. I'll let him have that little fun and, you know, be able to nurture that side of him. He needs it. And so with that, you know, I'm just keeping this uh, video very short, you know. Um, I'm always gonna walk my dog on retractable leashes, um, you know. He's got a harness that it ties over to here. In earlier videos, when he was a pup, before he was a year old, I had the retractable with like a choke chain or something on his neck. People were like, what are you doing? Oh my God, that's crazy. Well, even if I have not here, you know, he's very mindful, he can feel the pressure. And so he doesn't, he's not a stupid dog. There's some, you know, negativity and some people who are against retractable leashes and I get it, you know. Um, all I can say is, you know, you do what you want with your dog. And this is comfortable for both of us. My wife does it, you know. She's uh, very capable of walking home on a retractable leash, you know, and uh, very confident. At the end of the day, you know, it's about exerting that energy, giving him that release, you know. And uh, it makes me happy. I think it makes him happy that, um, you know, he's able to, you know, roam around freely, you know again with rules and boundaries you know we have rules and boundaries uh for me and for him to just make sure it's a safe pleasant and happy walk so with that thank you um i really appreciate it if you subscribed and gave a like to this video um and if you have some you know still some criticism and some um other comments i'm, I'm still happy to hear you know, this is, uh, you gotta come, you gotta take the good feedback with the bad feedback. So, uh, and, and, and it's the criticism that I'm um, most curious about, as long as it's done constructively with respect. With that, I'm just gonna leave it. So thanks, have a good one.